Hello everybody, hi, I'm the EG. It's been a while since I've uploaded, I think 40 days ago since I've uploaded. I don't remember how long. But anyways, I've uploaded a lot of Smash videos. I've been playing Smash for a lot of time. I think I have 425 hours in the game. And I want to rank every character. And we'll be starting off this tier list with Mario. Uh, Mario, I would probably put, eh, I'll put Mario in S tier. Mario is probably one of the better characters in my opinion. He can definitely make it back quite easily. And if you're good with him, you can pretty much sweep every team. Or sweep every character, every player. God, I can't speak. Next up, we have Donkey Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong could probably go in a B tier, A tier, B tier, A tier. I'll put him in A tier. I really like Donkey Kong a lot. He has, I think, all his specials being no, it's not all the specials. He's got down B, down A. He's got his down air as a spike. He's got his down special as a spike. Is that all his spikes? That can't be all his spikes. There's more. Okay, his four air spikes. There's one more that I can't think of at the top of my head. But yeah, Donkey Kong is pretty good when it comes to spiking. He also has his forward. Right, forward throw, I guess you can call it. And, you know, that can kill pretty much any character. Link. Link will probably go in an A tier for sure. And why not? I'll order them. Link is really good. You have to play him right. You have to make sure that none of your arrows really get taken. There's a lot of things that you have to make sure of on Link. Next up, we have Samus. Samus. I'm going to put behind Link in front of Donkey Kong. Samus is really fun to play. I like playing Samus a lot. However, I mean, you have to be careful with your neutral special. I, I guess that's it. There's nothing really else about it. You have Yoshi. Yoshi, I'm going to get a B tier. I really like Yoshi a lot. But, yeah, Yoshi is kind of a fun character to play, in my opinion. That That's it. I, have, I haven't had a lot of experience playing with Yoshi. I don't know if he's really good competitively or not. I just know that he's pretty good or pretty fun to play. Then we have Kirby, who I know isn't really the best. I'll put him in a C tier. Kirby has six jumps, which is really good. The thing that sucks about it is that he's a lightweight. He can take all of the neutral specials of every character in the game. I think, yeah, including himself. And, yeah. That's pretty much it for Kirby. Fox, he goes in front of Link in A tier. Fox is really, really good. He is really fast. He has good attacks. He has a a uh, reflector, he has um, range, he has a lot of stuff. Or, sorry, projectiles, not range. What do you call it? A project? He's he's got a gun. He can he can shoot at a good distance. And Pikachu definitely also goes in S tier. I would probably put Pikachu in front of Mario as well. Pikachu is really good in my opinion. Overall, really good character. Hands down. And then we have Luigi Boy. My Luigi Man. I'll put him in front of Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, I never explained for Pikachu. Pikachu is really fast. He also has his, uh, I think it's... No, it's not Thunderbolt. Well, he's got Thunder, which is really good. He's got his neutral, his neutral beat, which is pretty good too. And for Luigi, he is an alright character to play. You know, I'm going to actually bump him down to a B tier. 
Because I don't think he is better than Donkey Kong. But he's not better than Yo but he's better than Yoshi in my opinion. Then we have Captain uh, okay, this one uh, maybe high A tier, low i I'll put him in as a low S tier. Captain Falcon is really good. And I think in one of the more recent patches, his knee or his forear, his knee actually got a um, power buff, which is really good. So, yeah. Then we got Ness. Ness is probably going to go into an A tier. In front of Fox. Ness is really good. Ness has PK Thunder. Which is his recovery, which if you are very close to a stage, then it just doesn't work, which does suck. Uh, yeah. Then we're going to move on to Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, I'm putting right behind Ness. Jigglypuff is a really fun character to play. And I, no, uh, Rest doesn't insta-kill, but it does good damage. I think it also gives you the flower on the head. I forget what that effect is called, but I know you get it from, uh, uh, well, what is it? The evil mushrooms from Earthbound. I can't think of their name. But anyways, moving on. Oh yeah, Jigglypuff, uh, Jigglypuff has six jumps like Kirby, similar attacks. However, Jigglypuff can put you to sleep. He also has the, the I guess you can call it a charge attack, really, because right, that's neutral. Yeah, he's also got wake up slap to wake you out of sleep, which I think does more damage than sleep. And we have Peach. Peach, I probably put right behind Jigglypuff. Peach is a fun character, I would say. Peach is pretty damn good, and that's about it. Peach is a really fun character to play, in my opinion. Just hands down, really fun. Uh, down B, or Vegetable, I think that's what it's called. Vegetable is really good. Uh, I know, she, I think it's Counter? Yeah, she's at a Counter. That's when Toad comes out. Uh, counter is, I think, pretty decent. Uh, her recovery isn't the worst. However, you know. It just kind of. It, she's just an overall A tier character. And then we have the King of the Koopas, who I'm actually going to put right in, or right behind Peach. I think Bowser's the heaviest character in the game. First, which is really good. And he's also really fast and does really good damage and has armor on ma has major attacks like Forward Smash, which Forward Smash is really good. I think his ground pound is also really good too. And side B is really fun. When he grabs the character and just slams it down or slams them down, which launches pretty far, I think it's really good. Then we have Ice Climbers. They're going in front of Jigglypuff and right behind Ness. Ice Climbers have, I know, dominated the melee scene and the brawl scene. And have returned in Smash 4, but did return in Ultimate. Ice Climbers is a really fun character. Ice Climbers has side B, which is pretty good, but if you use it in the air, you can't use up B. Uh, speaking of which, up B is really good if you have both climbers. If you have one climber, then that's not really good. Which you can actually make Nana and Popo separated. Or is that Rosalina and Luma? I think you can make them separate and then attack that way. Which is really good. And then Sheik, Sheik just goes right behind Kirby. Sheik isn't a super f good character. However, on the scale of this, I, I say so far on the list, Sheik is the worst. But there's worse. Then we have Zelda. Zelda is completely different from Sheik. Zelda goes right behind Ice Climbers. 
if you have final or FS meter on Zelda, will pretty you're pretty much getting killed by Zelda most of the time at high percentages. <laughs> and on top of that, Zelda's just a good character in general. We have the Phantom Attack. I think it's Down B. We have Side B, uh, Din's Fire. <laughs> Up B, which is really good. I think that's Feora's Wind. Yeah. Here's Dr. Mario. I put Dr. Mario in a B tier in front of, in, uh, in front of, in front of Yoshi, yeah. Dr. Mario, I would say, definitely has the worst recovery in the game. I know Little Mac also exists, but... Uh, Dr. Mario just has the worst recovery in the game. But he does really good damage in return. So, yeah. And then we have Pichu. P Pichu's just going, like, right behind Mario. In front of Captain Falcon. Pichu is really, it's pretty much the same thing as Pichu, except a little bit different. I think, uh, just neutral air. Or, yeah, I think Nair is... Uh, different. I think it's old Nair from when Pichu first came out and every game before Smash Ultimate. It's, instead of Pikachu's new Nair, which is really good. And then, but, but the problem with Pichu is that I think Pichu's the lightest character in the game and on top of that it takes damage when using electric attacks, which is most of his attacks. Which is a good touch. If I remember correctly, most of the Pokedex entries for Pichu stated that it it can't contain electricity itself, which is a really good gimmick. And yeah, Pichu is a good character. He's on the kind of same levels as Pikachu, but he does damage to himself. He also learns Skull Badge, which is pretty funny. Just because he does it in the games. Then we have Falco. I'm putting Falco in a f right in front of uh, Donkey Kong. Falco is really good. And is a really good. It's just a really good stalling character. Uh, I usually land his spike with down air almost every time. Almost, I like to stress that. Uh, yeah. And Falco is really fun. It's a really fun character to play. And then we have Marth. Marth could go. I guess. In. Front of Peach? No, I'm gonna put him in a high B tier. No, 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 no. Right in front of Donkey. Right, sure, in front of Falcon works. Marth is a good character. However, Lucina is better. I think she. Is it Lucina with uh, extra sharpness or something like that? I forget. I haven't played Marth and Lucina in forever. But. Yeah, that's pretty much the best part of Marth and Lucina. My Marth combos are pretty good. I've hit, uh, yeah, I've hit a lot of those, and they're really fun to do. And yeah. Also, how long was this recording? Well, wow, 13 minutes. Anyways, Young Link. Young Link just immediately dominates the, in front of Zelda. Young Link, super good. Unlike Link with the bomb combos. Link can ease, but just just sweeps. Uppy is really good. I know that's a really powerful move. He has, he's also got the fire arrows for his bow and arrow, instead of the just arrows from Link. Also, I have to finish Breath of the Wild in Ocarina of Time. Something I have. Speaking of Ocarina of Time, we got Ganondorf. Putting him in a D tier. I don't think we're gonna. We're not going to use the E tier. We're just going to go with uh, D tier as the worst tier. And Ganondorf is going to be the worst character here. Ganondorf is really, really bad. He is really strong, though, to be fair. And then we have Mewtwo. I'm putting him in front of Marth, but behind Samus. No, no, in front of Samus. Mewtwo is a really fun character to play. His Nair is really good. He's also got 
uh, Samus's neutral, a neutral special, or neutral B, which is pretty good. And that's pretty much all I have to say for Mewtwo. Side B is really good too. His recovery is really good. Yeah, Roy, this is our boy, and I'm putting him. I think it's right in front of Samus, sure. Roy is really fun to play, in my opinion. I, I recommend playing Roy or Marth or Lucina, one of the three. They're really fun to play as secondary characters. And I have nothing else to say about Roy. Roy just does big damage. He's our boy. There's nothing else to say. The legend. And then we have another legend, the classic Mr. Game Watch. I'm actually going to put him in, put, putting him in the top of A tier, in front of Ness, but behind Captain Falcon. I feel like that's a good spot to put him, because Game Watch is really good. However, he does have some drawbacks that could really affect him. First of all, side B, if you don't get lucky with the uh, judge, with hitting nines or any good damage, or hitting sevens to heal you, then you are not really screwed. If you can play Game & Watch right, and side B is not your tactic, then you can pretty much rock with Game & Watch most of the time. But if side B is your tactic, then it's not really that good, in my opinion. Then we have Meta Knight. I'm putting Meta Knight in front of Donkey Kong. Meta Knight specials, like side B, Neutral special, up B, they all land on a special claw. Or they just. They don't let Meta Knight do any other attacks, which is really bad in my opinion. But to be fair, he does have six jumps, so. I don't know, I think it's kind of balanced in a way. Meta Knight also does good damage and is really fast. And that's about it. Pit, I guess I'll put right behind him. I mean, for Pit and Dark Pit, I don't think there's really much of a difference other than Final Smash. With Dark Pit having Dark Pit Staff and Link, or not Link, uh, Pit having Lightning Chariot. But yeah, Pit is really good. I put in, I'm putting him in an A tier. In fact, most of these characters are going in an A tier. Speaking of another A tier character, I'm going to put Zero Suit in between Zelda and Young Link. Z uh, Zero Suit Samus, in my opinion, doesn't really have good recovery options. Up B, and then I think gr a Grab? Yeah, a Grab can. But, like, that's about it for Zero Suit, really. And she's really fun to play. Next we have Wario. Wario's just getting put right behind Game & Watch. Wario has Down B, where if you live for too long... You can, and you need an extra good KO move. Uh, down B is really good. He's also got the Wario bike, which is really fun to use as well. He can also eat players. And uh, what else does he have that's good? Oh yeah, I mean, this isn't really a good thing. It's a bad thing. He doesn't have a good up B, but that's about it. Wario is good. And we have Snake. I'm putting right behind Wario. Snake... He's really, really good. First of all, his I think forward air spikes. I don't play Snake, but I know he is really good. <clears throat> yeah, but Snake is just great. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, his side B is really good. He I think he pretty much infinitely recovered, which is really good. So I'm gonna. Mark that down as really good. And yeah, then we have Ike. I'm putting on the top of B tier. Ike does have good strats, but he did get nerfed after Ultimate's launch, which does kind of suck. And for and yeah, pretty much for that reason, that nerf, I'm gonna go put him in the top of B tier. Then we have Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is really good. I'm actually gonna put him behind, not yeah, behind in Ness. No, behind Ice Climbs. Pokemon Trainer has three characters in total. First off, Squirtle, my favorite Pokemon. Squirtle is really, he's pretty good in my opinion. His up B is alright. He's got side B, which is pretty good. 
And it's also got water gun, which is pretty fun to use. His smashes are pretty good. Mm, that's pretty much it for him. Ivy sword. Now his, uh, I think it's this is downer. That's broken. That can spike at a, like a random spot, or like it has a really big hitbox. It's like Kirby's up tilt in Smash One. <sighs> Levels of bullshit, but yeah. And then we have Charizard, who I'm not even gonna really talk about much. Rock Smash was the move that I used in back in Smash Four, but. And that's no longer in the game. Let's switch. Uh, using down B now, switch Charizard to Squirtle. And then Squirtle to Ivy Swim, and Ivy Swim to Charizard. We have Pokemon Trainer as a solid character. We have Diddy Kong. I'm going to put Diddy Kong in front of. Like in front of Pichu. Diddy Kong is really good. I think he was rated the third best character in Smash 4, just behind Cloud and Bayonetta. Yes, uh, Diddy Kong, I think, at launch also had an infinite combo where you could use Banana Peel, use Banana Peel infinitely, or infinitely, and then just keep hitting it, which is really good. And he also got a pretty good upbeat, too. Then we have Lucas. Lucas, I'm going to put right behind Ness. Lucas and Ness, in my opinion, have kind of like the same level... <laughs> Playability. They're not Echo Fighters. They're completely different characters. Kind of. Uh, Lucas has this, kind of the same attacks as Ness. You know, up B is the same. Side B is the same. But neutral B changes from, I think, PK... F f no, I think Ness has PK Flash and Lucas has PK Freeze. It's one or the other. And there's also his grab, which I think is another good way to recover. But yeah, then we have my main, Sonic. I'm just gonna go put him... Uh, right... Behind Pikachu. Sonic the Hedgehog is the fastest character in the game. His attacks are mainly dealt with spin moves. I think some moves you can't... Uh, most people can't tell whether or not they're gonna be using one move or the other. Sonic the Hedgehog is a really fun character, in my opinion. And that's why he's my main. But I might be switching, or I'm going to be having a secondary character alongside him. And coming up soon, we'll have my boy Wolf, who is my secondary. I might, I might be switching about that. Then we have King DDD. I'm putting King DDD on the top of C tier. Yeah, King DDD is a heavyweight. I think he has three jumps. His up B is pretty decent. He does big damage. He has Gordo. It's he's pretty good. We have Olimar. Olimar is getting put at right behind Game and Watch. He's got the Pikmin. I don't think I need to explain much. He's also got a pretty good recovery. Yeah. Then we have Lucario, who I'm not even gonna explain why he's going into D tier. He's just going into D tier. Like he's just going into D tier. That that's it. He's a really bad character. They ruined one of my one of my old favorite Pokemon. Then we have Rob. Uh, I guess behind Pokemon Trainer works. Rob definitely has, I think, a tool assisted. I, I, like I think you need a task to really get the zero percent combo off. Yeah, but it is really good. Yeah, and then we have Toon Link. I think I'm going to put right in front of Young Link. Toon Link is kind of similar in a way. Down A is, is completely different. Down B is pretty good. Right, his bomb is pretty good. I think he also has a different arrow, but I don't remember. I think he has just normal links, or just the standard arrow. It'd be cool if, like, in the next Smash game, he has, like, ice arrows or light arrows instead. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, you know what would be cool for Young Link? Uh, sw switching in between fire arrow, ice arrow, and light arrow. That would be really fun. That'd be a fun gimmick. Then we have Wolf. 
Wait, or for Young Link, uh, the masks, too. For Majora's Mask would also be fun to do, too. We have Wolf. I'm just putting him in front of Game of uh, right behind Game of Watch. Wolf is my secondary character, and the last character we'll be talking about from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Wolf is really good. He's got a deflector, he's got his blaster, he's got real he has a pretty good moveset, he's got his spike, he he's just a good character in general. They have Villager who I guess I'm gonna put at the top or like right behind Donkey Kong. Villager definitely he is pretty good. He can steal projectiles and then use them on you, which is really good. He's also got tree or he's also got tree. He's got a load of stuff at his disposal, and he's really good. Mega Man, though, uh, I'm gonna rate. I'm gonna put him behind Mega for Rob. Mega Man was originally my secondary character, and I like Mega Man a lot. I don't like his spike though. His spike takes a little while, but that's about it. Dash attack is nice. Forward air and back air is nice. And Nair isn't that good, but. And I like up tilt a bit. It's alright. We Fit is just going behind Wolf. We Fit, if you use Down B successfully, you're gonna do big damage. I think Soccer Ball does like 30. I can't remember. But it's, yeah, it's really good. I mean, she's really good. We have Rosa. I'm gonna put her in front of Donkey Kong. Rosalina and Luma. If you separate Luma from Rosalina, you're gonna do big damage. I don't think there's much to explain on Rosa. Then we have Little Mac. I, I'm not even. I don't think I need to explain about Little Mac. He's just bad. He's got terrible recovery options, and his attacks are pretty decent. He does. I think he's the strongest character in the game still. Is he? I don't remember. But then we have Greninja. Greninja. Ooh, where do I put Greninja? I guess in front of Bowser. Greninja! I do like Greninja a lot. Greninja has, I think, Shadow Sneak, is it? I don't remember. You can be substitute, I don't remember. But I think it's Side B is what it is. And it's really good. And what else? Forward Smash is pretty good. Down, uh, down Air is really good. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't need to explain me, Brawler. I, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to explain me sword... F Actually, hang on. Let me switch these up. So that way I put you here. Yeah, there we go. Me, Sword Fighter, and me, Gunner are pretty bad. I'm not going to explain them. That uh, H3 is bad. I have Palutena. Palutena is really good. I think I'm going to put Palutena in front of Mr. Game & Watch. Palutena is one of the worst, if not the worst, in Smash 4 <laughs> ranked. And now, she is one of the better ones. She's one of the best. She's a pretty fun character to play. She's got, uh, I think, up air, which is really good. Is she has like a buttload of attacks that are just outstanding good. And then we have Dark Pit. I'm, I, I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to put him in front of Pit. They're just similar characters.